I have changed so much, you guys. To put it simply, I was a hot mess. <laughs> Let me just get kind of personal for a second. Hey y'all, so I'm about to go ahead and get my day started. Um, already did my face. I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this hair. I've actually been <laughs> Having my hair in these four plaids for the past couple days, I washed it and y'all know I air dried and um, put it in these four plaids. I've just been kind of like putting a wig and a hat on when I go out. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, time to really do my hair. I was telling y'all in a previous video how my braids, they have just been, they, was, they were hanging on really good, but it was time for them to go. So I finally went ahead and took them out and like I said, I've just been rocking my hair like this for the past couple days since I did that. Anyway, today I'm gonna do like a loose style. I haven't worn a loose style in a really long time. I've been rocking braids, I've been rocking updos, I've been rocking protective styles a lot. So I was just like, you know what, time for a change. Let me just do something different than what I've been doing lately. And I'm gonna use this U Part wig. Well, I've actually worn this in a video but i just slapped this on and put like a bandana on over top of it i didn't actually wear it like a u part so today i'm gonna wear it like a u part i'm just gonna take these front two sections down and section out some hair for the u part piece that i need my hair is actually kind of damp it got wet in the shower so my hair is a little damp at the top so i'm gonna have to blow dry this a little bit Right, that's about it just did a tension dry by the way shrinkage is really amazing isn't it <laughs> so now i'm gonna put on this u part wig i had previously did like a braid out on it and let it air dry secure so in the back and if anyone is wondering where I got this from, I believe I got this U Part wig from RPG Show a couple years ago. Don't quote me though, but I think that's where it's from. Brush that out. I'm gonna take a flat arm before I go in with the crimper just to relax this hair a little bit and get it primed for blending. And yes, y'all, I'm using heat on my hair now. I just got to a point where I was like, it's just hair. If I fry all of my hair off, I can grow it back again. Of course, I'm not gonna go overboard with it, but if I happen to damage my hair, I'm not really that concerned because I'll just grow it back. That's just where I'm at right now, y'all. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take, make sure it's hot. Ah, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, is this the right way? I think so. Hopefully it blends in with the rest of the hair because this is a braid out. I didn't crimp this, but it kind of looks crimped, right? Oh. Um. Okay, so this is not going to work. I anticipated that this might not <laughs> be the move. So what I'm gonna do is just take some mousse and braid the hair. I'm gonna do two plaits on each side. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I hope this turns out okay because I don't feel like trying to figure out something else to do with my hair. All right, so I got both sides plaited. Now I'm gonna take some edge control. I'm using Edge Booster. I'm gonna do my edges real quick. What I'm gonna do with the plaits is I'm gonna take my flat iron again and just go down the length to set it. That's my thought anyway. Let's see how this comes up. I'm gonna take them down. Hmm. Um. Okay, so it's not terrible, but maybe if I let my hair set for longer, it will be better. Like, let me show y'all. So this is what it looks like close up. And yes, I'm going outside in long sleeves, 
with long pants on and it's like 90 something degrees, but that's just how I roll y'all. I wear shorts in the winter time and I wear long sleeves in the summertime. I know that's backwards, but that's just how I roll. That's what I do. So yeah, this is the look. This is what it came out looking like. I already see this side frizzing up. So we're not even gonna play these games. I'm gonna throw a scarf on or a hat or something to cover up this leave out and I'll figure out a longer term solution for how I'm gonna wear my hair this week. Oh y'all, by the way, I know so many of y'all have been asking for an update on this bathroom. The situation is, I was telling y'all that I needed an art piece to put in here just to complete it. And I did like a DIY art piece for this bathroom like a few months ago. I showed it in a video, but then I put it in here and I was like uh I'm not too certain about this I wasn't really feeling my DIY piece and then I was like okay if I'm not gonna use this DIY art piece I need to find something else so I went ahead and ordered some prints I ordered like four different ones because I wasn't too sure exactly on which one I wanted so I ordered some prints I ordered some frames for them but I actually just thinking about it now that was like two weeks ago and I feel like they should be here by now and they're not. So sometime today I'm gonna contact customer service, see what's the holdup. But as soon as I get that artwork up, I'm gonna go ahead and film the bathroom transformation video so you guys can see how everything turned out. So I wanna show y'all what I've been eating for breakfast for the past few days, cause I've actually been on a cleanse. Every once in a while, whenever I feel like my body needs it or whenever I have been eating a bunch of junk or snacks or like really heavy foods and I'm starting to feel sluggish and just not at my best, I like to do a cleanse. I do these cleanses between three and seven days usually. So today's day four of this one. And on this cleanse, I'm just doing whole foods, nothing processed. My meals this week have been extremely simple, extremely basic, but I feel really good. Like on these cleanses, I just feel so much better inside. Like my body's like, thank you. <laughs> Cause um, I'm doing this specifically because I'm doing a video in like two days where I'm gonna be making a bunch of food. I'm doing like a vegan, grilling cookout video and it's gonna involve a lot of bread a lot of um, very filling heavy foods I'm going to just go to town on those things I already know so I'm just kind of <laughs> preparing myself and tempering myself so I don't overdo it so what I'm gonna make right now is just like an avocado topped with my ground walnut meat and it's been really good really tasty satisfying all right so I have a whole avocado slice that in half lengthwise I'm gonna put this in a baking tray because I'm gonna broil this actually. And then here I have some ground up walnuts. I just took some walnuts, boiled them for about 20 minutes, drained them, and then just processed them until they look like this. And I also chopped up a little red onion. So I'm gonna throw these both into a pan, sauteing it in water, and I'm gonna add some spices to it. And these are the spices that I'm gonna be adding here. All right, so there is my broiled avocado. I just broiled it lightly. This just helps it to get a lot softer and also heats it up. A little pepper and garlic powder. And then top it with my walnut mixture. I know this doesn't look that spectacular, but I happen to find it quite delicious. And it keeps me full pretty much all morning, so I like that about it as well. And then along with it, I'm just having some warm water. I squeezed in some fresh lemon juice in here, so hot lemon water. Just like I thought, y'all, it's been less than an hour and I'm already starting to get a little bouffant at the top of my head. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why did I think that this would be a good idea? So anyway, I have this scarf here that I'm gonna put on. All right, so I just put it like this, pretty much just made it into a headband. This will do for now. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys some things that I picked up recently from two different places. First up, a couple items from Free People. I don't really shop at Free People that often, but something just told me to go in there. I was in the mall one day. I'm rarely in the mall, but I was in the mall one day and something told me to go in there and I did. And I'm so happy that I went in because you guys, I got some really amazing 
jeans. These jeans are right here. And the best part about these is that they were under a hundred bucks. I just love the wash on them. It's the perfect medium wash. It has the distressing going on. It has that relaxed vibe and they fit me really well. I'm pretty sure I'm only 5'2". So these hit me perfectly. I believe on the website, the model is way taller. And so these fit the model cropped, but these don't fit cropped on me. They fit just absolutely amazing. I can wear flats with them. I can wear like a short heel with them and they'll come all the way down. They're super comfortable, very easy to move around in. And I just feel like they're so versatile. And I always love when I find an item that I can seamlessly mix match these would be like a great everyday jean i can dress them up i can go dress down with them so many possibilities then i got a couple of tops because a lot of my tops in my wardrobe they're either button-ups or they're sweatshirts or they're super dressy i don't have a lot of tops that are in between i found myself really needing some tops that i could throw on on a daily basis run out do whatever i'm doing not have to think too much so this is the first one it's kind of this faded army green color I love that it has these tie accents on the sides. With these, you can cinch it in so you can get a cinched in look or you can just relax them and the top fits kind of oversized and boxy. I love how slinky it is, how flowy it is and how easy it is to wear. It's just a really great everyday type of shirt that I can throw on with some jeans or some shorts or something like that. Then I got this top, this dusty pink top. This one, again, I liked it just because the ease of wearability. I loved the color and I also love the detailing on it this waffle knit and it's ultra slinky it just has a really cool look to it i thought so i had to scoop it up and then i got two tops which i liked so much i had to get them in black and white these are going to be a staple these are going to be some tops that i reach for and i'm going to get so much wear out of them so the first one is this one this is classified as black but it's more on the gray side like a really washed out black and what i love about these tops is just the overall look of them so they have like a a v in the front then it's kind of twisted right here it has a tie situation at the bottom so you can you know make a bow or let it hang loose whatever you want to do and then in the back it has this elastic stretchy back and then like i said i got the white version too and i just felt like the silhouette of it was just so cool it's a little different than every other top that you see all around so that's all i bought from free people and then i bought some things from aritzia now before I show y'all what I got, let me just say, I ordered some things from this brand before online. That was my first time buying from them. This right here is my second time buying from them. But when I placed my order online, I had a good experience. I bought this bodycon dress, which I showed in a previous vlog. I'll insert a picture here of the dress. I really love that dress. It's so comfortable. So when I came across the store in person, I was like, oh, I went to you, let me stop in. Picked up a few things to try on made my way to the dressing room i got in the dressing room and i immediately turned around and walked out because i realized they don't have any mirrors in their dressing rooms they have like a big mirror in the middle you gotta put the clothes on and come out the dressing room to look in a mirror to see and i was just so annoyed because i don't like that whole marketing scheme i don't like that whole philosophy i don't like that whole setup that they have there with the dressing rooms and the mirror outside you got to go out for every item and see how you look like nobody wants to do that y'all i went online i searched it up i found a bunch of complaints about the same thing but with that being said i still wanted the pieces that i picked up and the reason why i just went ahead and bought them <laughs> is because the quality of their pieces was really really good like I needed some basics some elevated basics tank tops and things like that and the quality of Aritzia's pieces they just seemed far superior than a lot of other stores that I was seeing so I had to just buy them and I was like I'll try them on when I get home and see if I actually like them if not I'll take them back anyway so first up I got this one shoulder cropped top all of these pieces that i have they have this really nice ribbing this um thick material so i just knew that this would be such a versatile piece to have and to pair it with different bottoms i could also put things over it layer with it i also got a cream colored tank top this one has both shoulders again the ribbing 
is really nice. It just looks and feels like quality. This is another piece that would be great for layering. I could put a button up over it. I could put a blazer over it or a jacket. And then I got two tops in the same style, but one is black and one is cream. So here is the cream one. It has a deep V. This ribbon goes down the front and then at the bottom it has a band which goes across. I love the color. I love the material. I love the stretch factor. And then I got the same top in black. This to me would be like an evening top, a going out top, something to wear for a night out, a nice dinner, something like that. This will be perfect. So that's all the stuff I got. I'll put the links below to everything I just showed. turn up real quick um i'm actually at the bookstore i wanted to come and get a couple of books because lately i have been really into reading well i've always been into reading but lately i've really ramped it up ended up getting three books i've given up a lot of tv like i used to watch way more television than i currently do i've given up a lot of going on to social media as much as i used to just trying to cut down on negative things that i may be taking in and just really getting more into positive things motivational things stuff like that so i actually just finished a book it's called you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life and that was actually a really good book um there were some things in there that i wasn't it wasn't for me but overall it was a good book it's kind of like you know chew the meat spit out the bones type of thing even though I don't eat meat but y'all get the same right I was kind of just reflecting and I'm like oh I'm already doing some of the things that she suggests to live an awesome life let me just get kind of personal for a second because I know that I don't really talk much about like my personal life things I've gone through stuff like that I have changed so much you guys I have changed so much I have grown so much even from who I was five years ago definitely from who I was 10 years ago and beyond I've changed so much and two I feel like a way better person today to put it simply I was a hot mess <laughs> I don't want y'all to get the wrong idea though. I wasn't a hot mess. Like I wasn't out here reckless or anything like that. I was just a very angry person. I was very angry. I was very combative. I was always ready to fight. Like that was me. And now I am so different. Like, I mean, okay. Let me be real. I have my moments, right? But overall, I have grown dramatically in my mentality, in my mindset. It really is about your mindset, changing your mindset, and it translates in so many other areas of your life. And I really, I feel like I want to talk more in depth about this because just sharing a little bit of from where I was to where I am now in terms of the type of person I am, in terms of how I positively changed my life, what steps I took things like that I really think I want to do like a more serious video about that and just tell how I created the life that I live now a life that I am happy with a life that brings me fulfillment so y'all let me know if that's something y'all want to see leave um, leave it down in the comments if there's anything in particular you want me to address and um, once I get some ideas of how to structure the video I will certainly put it out because sometimes I feel like I try to bring y'all light-hearted stuff like mm, happy hair food things like that but sometimes you just got to get a little deeper you got to go deeper you got to go below the surface I mean I know that people have hit me up and said you've changed my life in this way and that way if you've helped me learn how to do this you've helped me learn how to do that I've lost weight um, you know following your recipes things like that and I really do love to hear that but I also want to go a little further into what people can do to live happier lives to create the existence that they want and I don't want to be like preachy I don't know everything but I feel like I do have some things to offer I feel like I do have some good tips and things like that but with that being said let me show you all the books I got so the first one is how to talk to anyone 92 little tricks for big success in relationships so a little fun fact about me I'm very blunt I'm very straightforward and sometimes that does not come across very well I know that that is something that I could certainly work on my delivery <laughs> how I you know say things and um, I felt like this would be a good book to get into see if this could make me a more effective a more 
<laughs> I don't know the word, like a better communicator. Also have this book, it's called The Gratitude Diaries, How a Year Looking on the Bright Side Can Transform Your Life. Like I try to maintain a mindset of gratitude. This is not always easy. <laughs> so I do slip, you know, here and there, but just overall, I just try to remain thankful. I try to look for the lesson in things. I try to look for the bright side in things because there's nothing worse than being around a person who it's like they can find a problem for every solution, the pessimistic type of person. One of the worst types of people to be around. And I used to be like that in some ways. I've never been like a huge complainer, but I did used to be like a, I don't know, like a Debbie Downer in some ways. Now I just strive to be a positive, gracious, a thankful person and I just want to see how you know what her story is and how it unfolded so I thought that would be interesting and then this one I thought it just was really cool so this is called a year of weeks 52 awesome weeks of trying new things let me show y'all a little bit inside it just looks so fun and I thought it would be good for me because you know sometimes we get stuck in ruts we get stuck in routines we find ourselves doing the same things day in and day out and then you look up and you're like wait a minute what am I doing with my life and I'm really striving to switch the flow up here and there do new things try new things get out and this I just felt like it would help me to stick to doing some new things some things that I wouldn't necessarily think to do myself this right here is a drawing draw wing that's a weird word to say drawing okay drawing <laughs> prompt so it has you um it tells you to like draw certain things around the house that's not something i would ever do but it just seems like you know why not just shake things up and i definitely feel like that is one thing that everybody can do just get out there because variety is the spice of life if you find yourself feeling like what am i doing maybe it's time to do something different so those are the books i got i'm about to go to whole foods i gotta pick up some things household things and then i also gotta get a few things for my upcoming video i turned my car off so i could film this and the audio would be clear without the car noise but i gotta turn my car back on because it is so hot <laughs> i'm like sweating so bad Whoo! i gotta turn this air on i'll see y'all in a bit <laughs> Just got back from Whole Foods. Let me show y'all what I got. Got a carton of these grape tomatoes, organic extra firm tofu. Got some corn on the cob, two cans of jackfruit. Got some toothpaste. I just talked about this actually in my recent faves video. This is my favorite toothpaste and I needed some more so I got this. Got some aluminum foil for the grill. Got a bottle of this light agave nectar. Organic cashew milk mozzarella. Got a bag of bell peppers, red, green, and orange. Got some celery. And the last thing I got is this Everyday Coconut Body Wash. I love their face wash. I use it every day. So I wanted to get some body wash and I just saw this one and I was like, I'm sure this is gonna be really great, just like the face wash. So I picked it up. This is my first time getting it. I also went to get some more of my deodorant spray that I told you guys about in my recent faves video. Y'all, I don't know what's going on, but I've been to like, I think that's my second Whole Foods I went to where they did not have the spray. Listen, I need my deodorant spray. That's my favorite. <laughs> like I said in that video, it's getting super hot out. I need to stay fresh. What's happening? So, I'm going to try to find it online. Did my faves video sell them out? Is that what happened? I don't know, but maybe y'all should stop buying them so I can have some for myself. Because when I find them again, I'm going to buy like 10 so I don't run out. So, I have my homemade um energy balls this is what i call them i made a huge batch and these four are left and so i'm just gonna have these now i made these with pumpkin seeds unsweetened coconut flakes a date in here to sweeten it up some raw peanut butter and a tiny bit of sea salt and i just blended it up in my food processor formed it into balls and that's what i got here a little sweet slightly salty snack anyway i'm about to make some lunch so what I'm having today, I'm having corn on the cob. I'm having asparagus. I always have a bunch of frozen veggies in my freezer. What I like to do when I get fresh produce in, I like to just go ahead and wash everything, 
get it nice and clean, make half of it fresh, and the rest I will freeze it so it's all ready to go. And then I'm also gonna have some mushrooms. So the mushrooms and the asparagus, I'm gonna toss them with a tiny bit of avocado oil, season it up, and then roast it for maybe 20 minutes. And that'll be lunch for today. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.